you provide all of the supplies. What nature provides is the life, the living environment. You need do nothing. Here's how it works. You need a guarantee that your natural aquarium is in fact going to be successful. I have that guarantee for you. And it is a guarantee written into the very structure of nature because it is a contract between you and nature. You provide all of the supplies, the material, the tank, the dirt, the substrate, the water, the plants and fish as well, the light, everything to set that tank up and put everything in it. What nature provides is the life, the living environment. It provides the balance, the harmony, indeed the beauty, the joy, and the satisfaction of knowing that your tank is in the best possible hands, that it will be able to take care of itself. You need do little or nothing. Indeed, the less you do, the better. Here's how it works. Select your tank, whatever tank you like. Find a place to put it. If it gets a little sunlight, so much the better, but it's not critical. Set it so that it is stable and solid. It's not gonna get knocked over, not pushed around. It is on a solid, stable stand. On this solid rock, you must build your environment. Very well. Next, select an appropriate substrate. Now, I have formulas for this. You can use them. They are perfectly effective and guaranteed to work. Put the substrate in. If the substrate is such that it's going to be diluted or perturbed by water, then put a cap on it, a sand cap, preferably. A sand cap on top of dirt and then Fill it with water. What water? Whatever water you have. It makes no difference at all what the water is. Don't worry about it. Nature will take care of what is necessary. If your substrate contains, as my supplement does, carbonates in order to stabilize the pH, lime, and other minerals to provide nutrients such as iron for your plants, and biologicals. These are the items you're going to put on the top as well as in the substrate in order to generate life. Put that in, no more than an inch deep. You don't need more than an inch of a rich composite soil. Now, what do you do next? Well, you want to get some life and light into the tank, and you want to do that immediately, day one. So you should have plants available. You want to put a lot of plants, not two or three, not five or 10. If it's a 20 gallon tank, you need 20 plants. It's a 50 gallon tank, you need 50 plants. Now, that's a number based on size. These would be small plants. If you've got a big plant, like a big mother sword plant, or some large valisneria, that can take the place of two or three others but you want a lot of plants. Next, put a few fish in the tank immediately. Day one, I usually do it on day two. Day one is perfect. A few, not many, not a big group, a few. Two, three, four, 
five, no more than six, even in a 55 gallon tank, a small number of fish, a whole lot of plants, and then put a light on it. You need light. And when you turn that light on, you want a minimum 100 watts per 20 gallons. For a 55 gallon, that would be 250 watts. You can go to 300. 200 is a little light. Turn the lights on, leave them on permanently for at least the first two weeks or until you start to see algae growing. That will be the point where you have more light than the plants in the tank can handle, can use. And so at that point, you dim it back a little bit. Cut it back from 24 hours to 16 hours a day. Let it sit there and see how it does. If you're still getting a little bit of algae, cut it back a little more. Or better yet, add more plants. The more plants you have, the better the tank is going to do. The next step is one where you give nature a kickstart, a kick in the pants. And you do that by adding culture to the tank. The best way to get that culture is from a pond or a creek or a stream in your community. Go out and collect some. Put it in a jar. Make a resurrection jar. Watch it. Study it. Look at it. See what's in it. It would be full of life. Then begin putting small amounts of that into your tank. All right, you're at a week. You've got your tank set up. You've got lights on it, you've got plants on it, you have a few fish. Now what do you do? Nothing. You sit back and you look at that tank and watch what nature does. Nature will bring your tank to life. You should see plants growing. You should see fish foraging. You can begin adding more fish after a week or so. If the fish that are in there are doing well, give them some friends. Add more plants if you need to. In other words, give nature all that she needs in order to be able to build the kind of environment that you're excited about having. Don't bother with testing the water. That's just going to confuse you. Nature doesn't test her water. Nature uses the water that is available to create a living environment. Whatever your water is, is absolutely perfect. What about chlorine? The chlorine will gas off. It'll go off into the air. Now, if by horrible circumstance, you have chloramine in your water, put vitamin C tablets in the water. Not a little bit, a lot. Put a thousand unit vitamin C tablet per five gallons. 50 gallons, you put 10 of them in. It will break that bond between the ammonia and the chlorine. The chlorine will gas off, it will evaporate. The ammonia, the plants are gonna pull that right out of the water. They love it. It is a nutrient. Get past that little hurdle and you're on your way. Sit back and observe. Be Father Fish. Enjoy watching your tank do whatever it is it is going to do. Now maybe it'll get cloudy. It might. It might get cloudy. What do you do if your tank gets cloudy? You do nothing. Nothing. Unless the fish are coming to the top and gasping for air, demonstrating that there is something so foul in that tank that it is burning up all the oxygen. Unless that happens, leave it alone. If it gets a little cloudy from dirt being disturbed, 
leave it alone. If it gets a little cloudy from some algae growing in the tank, leave it alone. If you see the fish stressed out, if they are in trouble, they will be at the top gasping for air or they'll be spinning around on the bottom. Unless you see something absolutely horrible going on, do nothing. If the fish are happy, why aren't you? Don't create problems where they do not exist. Nature will create a natural environment and it will do it without you needing to do anything more. So here you have it, a perfect formula based on a contractual relationship between you and nature in which you are equals, uh, but she is vastly superior as you will shortly discover. Do your part and let nature do all the rest. And you will, I promise you, take absolute glory and joy in what is created in your little aquarium. Bless you all. Do a natural aquarium. Make a contract with Mother Nature and learn to live with the joy of life. Love you all. Bye for now.